Welcome, friends. In the name of Jesus. I hope you can see me. Okay. Now, let us start with prayer. Mm -hmm. Let us start with prayer. Okay. So, if you need prayer for deliverance, you are welcome. Let the Lord minister unto us. Let the Lord deliver us from any power of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Okay. So, I'm going to pray on uh, Acts chapter 2. We go to Acts chapter 2. And it will be, it's going to be practical. We are going to pray. I may not say exactly your need during the prayer, but remember that as we are breaking the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus then your sickness is going to go now uh, the last testimony that I received from a Bulgarian lady she said that uh, she prayed with a prayer and she actually didn't expect that her problem is spiritual but after the prayer uh, one, two days after that, she was completely healed. Praise the Lord. So most of the problems uh, have spiritual origin. And now, now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Herod the king you see there is physical kings and there are spiritual kings you remember in the book of david uh, in the book of daniel there was a spiritual and physical king of persia so we see here again herod and now he wants to stretch to stretch forth his hand against the church and against your family so now in the name of jesus christ let's pray we pray father in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth we pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth against any prince of darkness any king of darkness in jesus name Father, you have promised that we can bind kings. We can bind them in Jesus' name. So we bind this principality, Herod, in Jesus' name. We bind it. We bind any prince and king that fights against us, fights against our family, fights against the church. So, in Jesus' name, let him be bound, arrested, paralyzed. Thank you, Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, break his hands. Break the hands of any evil power, authority, that fight against us. As it is written in Psalm uh, 35. We are praying according to Psalm 35. Let, let's go there. It says like this. O Lord, stri 
O Lord, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Strive with them that strive with me. Let's pray like this. O Lord Jesus, strive with them that strive with me. You can pray continually. Strive with them that strive with me. Lord Jesus, Son of God, strive with them that strive with me. In the name of Jesus. And you can write down your needs yeah, as a message here. Strive with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Pray. You, you remember, we do not fight flesh and blood. We do not fight flesh and blood. So fight against them that fight against me in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, Heavenly Father, fight against them that fight against us. Fight against them that fight against the church, fight against our ministry. Heavenly Father, fight against them that fight against us in Jesus' name. And let, let, let us go down. <clears throat> let them be a staff before the wind, verse 5. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. Now let's pray against the powers that chase us. Any power that chase us, in Jesus' name, O Lord, chase them that chase us. Heavenly Father, chase them that chase us. Pray about it, because there are pow powers that chase you. Chase them that chase us in Jesus' name. Verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. So we pray now. Lord, let your angel persecute them that persecute us. We do not fight against flesh and blood we do not fight against flesh and blood so persecute them that persecute us lord jesus let your angel persecute them that persecute us in jesus name we pray Hallelujah. So now, um, I would like us to go to Psalm 149. And we're going to start with verse four, or verse 6. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. The Lord speaks about this. So we are going to fight with praises and with the word. Uh, uh, this is the strategy. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. This is praise. And a two-edged sword in their hand. So now we, 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 we fight praise, word, praise, word. Or prayer, word, prayer, word. It's like boxing. And now... Let us say, we take the weapon of praise and the two-edged sword of the word in Jesus' name. Let us say, I take the weapon of praise and the two-edged sword of the word of God in Jesus' name. You, you, you pray with me. And you're going to see as you pray and as you pray and as you pray, you're going to see something happening with you. But don't be afraid. If the power of God comes upon you, get delivered. Don't stop it. Take a deep breath. Cough it out. Whatever. Let it go. Expel it in Jesus' name. So we take the 
the weapon of praise and the weapon of the word in Jesus' name. Verse 7. Psalm 149. To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishments upon the people. All right. So we take the weapon of the word of God to execute vengeance. And as you know, our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but, but against spiritual authorities in heavenly places. So, we fight, we execute vengeance upon spiritual powers through the word. And let us say, in the name of Jesus. You remember? High praises, the two-edged sword. Or let's say, prayer and the word. Now, through prayer and the word, we execute vengeance upon the powers of darkness. You remember Moses. He delivered the, pe the people of Israel and he was deliverer for them. But through him, the Lord judged Egypt. So this is what Jesus said, that the devil is already condemned, judged. And now, in the name of Jesus, we execute vengeance upon the powers that torment us and torment our families in Jesus' name. You can repeat it. Uh, because we have to, to pray with authority and faith. In Jesus' name, I execute vengeance upon the evil powers that fight against me and torment me and my family in the name of Jesus. And now the second part of the verse. The verse. To execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people. So the Lord has given us authority to execute. We are executors. So in Jesus' name we execute punishment upon any power that punish us. We, we execute punishment upon any power of darkness that is attacking us in Jesus name all right verse 8 to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron you remember Jesus said in Matthew 18 18 whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven and when he said to bind their kings we know that it means uh, princes in heavenly places uh, because we do not fight against flesh and blood so in Jesus name we bind this is the name full of authority the highest authority in heaven, earth, and under the earth, now in this kingdom and the next world. So we take the authority that is in the name of Jesus, and through the name of Jesus, say, through the name of Jesus, I bind any king, prince, principality, authority, exousia, uh, any power of darkness that stands against us, I bind with chains in Jesus' name. I bind them with chains. And their nobles, authorities, I bind with feathers of iron in Jesus' mighty name. Let them be paralyzed. Let them be arrested. In the name of Jesus. And then, 
I try to follow the, the, the spirit of the Lord. That's why don't worry if, if we don't finish what, what uh, we have started. Uh, so Psalm 149 verse 9. To execute upon them the judgment written. This is important. We are sent with authority to execute the written judgment. The written judgment. So the written judgment is what the Lord has promised in his word. And we are bound to the written judgment. Not whatever we want, but what, what, what authority the Lord has given us. So we are supposed to execute upon the powers of darkness the written judgment. This honor have all his saints. If you are saint, you have this honor upon yourself. So you can say this is for pastors or apostles or prophets, but this honor belongs to all his saints. Praise you the Lord. So in the name of Jesus, we start praying. In the name of Jesus, I execute the written judgment upon the evil powers that have been attacking me, that are attacking me and my family and ministry and business and church. I execute upon them the written judgment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So you see, Psalm 149, wonderful psalm, but I want us to go to Psalm 18. So you see how we are using the Word of God in prayer. We are using the Word of God in prayer. Now, hallelujah. All right. Let's start. I love you, O oh Lord my strength Let, let's say to the lord i love you lord jesus i love you lord jesus you are my power you are my strength oh lord jesus i love you you are my strength you are my power Speak to him. You are my strength. You are my power. You are my might. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of the armies. The Lord Jesus is my rock. You are my rock. You are my foundation. You are my fortress, my stronghold. You are my deliverer. Say to the Lord, you are my deliverer. Say to God, you are my deliverer, O Lord. Hallelujah. You are my God, my strength. In you I trust. Lord Jesus, in you I 
trust. So you confess it, you believe it, you put your trust on the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, in you I trust. You are my buckler. You are the horn of my salvation. You are my high tower, high stronghold. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord Jesus is a strong tower. I call, I call upon you, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. And I will be saved from all my enemies. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's go further. And uh, I'll go to verse 28 of Psalm 18. For you will light my candle. Lord Jesus, you will light my candle. So if there is darkness, the Lord is going to light my candle. So let's say, let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light in my life. Let there be light in my family. Let there be light. The Lord is my light. Let there be light in my mind. If you have thought problems, if you have problems with the mind, pray with this prayer. Let there be light in my mind in Jesus' name. Let there be peace in my mind in Jesus' name. Let there be light in my emotions and feelings in Jesus' name. No depression. No depression. No fear. Let there be light and peace in my emotions, in my feelings, in Jesus' name. You, Lord Jesus... You are my light. You are my candle. The Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. Lord Jesus, Jehovah Elohim, you will enlighten my darkness in the name of Jesus. The Lord, my God, Jehovah Elohim, you will enlighten my darkness. I thank you, Lord. This is confession of faith. We proclaim our faith. The Lord Jesus will enlighten my darkness. Thank you, Lord. Don't say there is no darkness. If there is fear, it's darkness. If there is sickness, it is darkness. If, if, if there is depression, it is darkness. If there is confusion, it is darkness. And we want the light of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I am praying this prayer together with you, my English-speaking friends, because I see the need. And that's why I am praying with you and I will suggest that you use this prayer for your good. Uh, we need not only words, we need action. And the prayer is action. Verse 29. For by you I have run through a troop. This means, by the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus I overcome the army of the enemy. Let's confess it. By the power of the Holy Spirit by, by thee it says 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the name of Jesus Christ, I overcome the army of the enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And by my God have I leaped over a wall. By my God and Savior and Deliverer Jesus Christ, I leap over every wall. And even I command any wall of darkness fall down in Jesus' name. Any wall of darkness to fall out, down in Jesus' name. The walls of Jericho fall down in Jesus' mighty name. Any wall that stands against our progress, let it fall in Jesus' name. Any wall that stands against our progress, against our destiny, be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any wall of resistance from the darkness be destroyed in the name of Jesus. From the foundation, the foundation of the wall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Any wall of setback be broken and destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So you are attacking these powers that are attacking you and stopping your progress. In Jesus' name. So we go to verse 30. As for God, His way is perfect. Let's say, God, your way is perfect. Your way is perfect. This means Jesus is the way, yeah? Lord God, Jesus, your way is perfect. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. So, Jesus, you are the way of God. And you are perfect. I praise you. Okay, let's praise him. Oh, Lord Jesus, you are the, the way of God. The only way of God. And you are perfect. I praise your holy name. And then it says, The word of the Lord is right. Again, Jesus, you are the word of God. You are the word that became flesh. And you are right. And your words are right. You are my buckler. And I trust in you. Jesus, you are my buckler. And I trust in you. Your word is my shield. And I trust in your word. Your word is my shield, and I trust in your word. Hallelujah. Verse 31. You see, we don't confess anything bad. No depression, no fear, no nada. No nada. <laughs> no nothing. All right. Okay. Many languages. Que Dios bendiga nuestros amigos y hermanos españoles. <clears throat> Verse 31, for who is God save the Lord, or who is a rock save our God? And now we say, oh God, oh Lord my God. So, oh Lord my God, who is a rock save you? Oh Lord my God. God, Father, in the name of Jesus, you are my rock, and there is none like you. You are my rock, rock of salvation, rock of deliverance. I thank you. Verse 32. 
It is God that girded me with strength and make it my way perfect. God, gird me with your strength. Oh, wonderful prayer is this. If you, if you are tried, if you are in a difficult situation, say to him, O oh Lord, gird me with your strength. Gird me with your power and might. Make my way perfect. Lord Jesus, make my way perfect. Because we have many faults. But the Lord can help us. Make my way perfect, O Lord. Lord, my God, gird me with your strength. Make my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hen's feet and setteth me upon my high places. Hmm. Lord, anoint my feet. Lord Jesus, anoint my feet. Set me upon the rock. Set, set me upon on high. Protect me from my enemies. Set me upon the rock of the word. Set me upon the rock, the only foundation, Jesus. Set me upon the high places. Set me on high. Protect me. In Jesus' name. Verse 34. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by, my, by mine arts, arms. Bow. Or still teach my hands to war lord teach my hands to fight uh, nobody wants to fight but the lord wants to teach us to fight so let's pray teach my hands to war teach my hands to fight let me break let me break the weapons of the enemy any weapon of darkness be broken in Jesus name any weapon of darkness used against me be broken and destroyed in Jesus name right now now, hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. All weapons formed against me be broken in Jesus' name. And I condemn any tongue any tongue of judgment against me in the name of Jesus and our fight is not against flesh and blood you remember <coughs> this is in Isaiah 54 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment i shall condemn now let's say 
any weapon formed against me fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. You weapons of the enemies against me be destroyed and broken in Jesus' name. Every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment, I condemn any tongue from the kingdom of darkness that rises against me in judgment. Be condemned and be destroyed in Jesus' name I pray. <clears throat> every tongue, every word that comes from the kingdom of darkness against me and my family and ministry in the name of Jesus be destroyed any judgment against us be destroyed in Jesus mighty name judgment of darkness be destroyed in Jesus name condemnation of darkness be destroyed in Jesus name thank you father this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord so Lord thank you for the heritage of righteousness Lord Jesus you are my righteousness thank you father for the heritage of righteousness so no condemnation no judgment no evil tongues no evil weapons in the name of jesus i receive the heritage of the righteousness of jesus christ thank you lord and let's go to verse 15 also because it's very good here in righteousness shall shalt thou be established now father thank you for your righteousness that is in jesus christ i am established in the righteousness that is in christ jesus let's confess it i am established in the righteousness that is in christ jesus thou shalt be far from oppression any oppression go away in jesus name you speak to oppression <coughs> any oppression go away in the name of jesus all you oppression go away in the name of jesus we break we break the backbone of oppression in jesus name we break the spine of oppression in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. For thou shalt not fear from, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. So, you spirit of fear, you spirit of terror, do not come near me. Go away out in jesus name you speak with authority you spirit because it says in righteousness shalt thou be established thou shalt be far from oppression so uh oppression what is the oppression for thou shalt not fear fear and oppression works together work together and from terror terror this is a nightmare for it shall not come near thee so in jesus name any spirit of fear terror nightmare panic attacks all right <clears throat> you spirits of fear terror nightmares panic attack in the name of jesus come out come out come out come out go away in the name of jesus and never come back any spirit that comes out we commanded go into the pit in jesus name so again what do we pray in the name of jesus any spirit of oppression come out fear come out terror come out nightmare come out 
In Jesus' name we pray. We command panic attacks, come out and never come back. In Jesus' name. Never come near me. Hallelujah. Okay, thank you, Jesus. So we go back to Psalm 18 because we were there in Psalm 18. And we continue our prayer. Aha, aha, aha. So. <clears throat> da, uh, verse 35. Psalm 18, verse 35. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. The shield of thy salvation. What is the shield of the, of our salvation the shield of faith this is the word of God the shield of our salvation is the shield of our faith it's the word of God so true faith father I receive I receive by faith the shield of my salvation heavenly father I receive by faith the shield of my salvation so you use the weapons of god say heavenly father by faith i receive the shield of my salvation as i pray you pray and we pray on the foundation of matthew eighteen nineteen. if two of you agree touching anything that they will ask it shall be given them by my Father that is in heaven. So I pray and you pray and we agree together and we receive the, 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 the res response from the Lord. The answer. So in Jesus' name I re receive the shield of salvation by faith. The shield of faith faith the shield of salvation the shield of the word of god i receive it in jesus name and i'm going to use it i'm going to use the shield of my salvation at thy right hand had holden me thy right hand had holden me up so your right hand have holden me up and thy gentleness have made me great so let's confess. Oh Lord, your right hand. You remember? The right hand of God is His presence and power. The right hand of God is the Holy Spirit. So your right hand holds me up. Your power holds me up. Your presence holds me up. Your Holy Spirit holds me up. Thank you, Father. Your gentleness makes me great. Thank you, Father, for your gentleman, uh, gentleness. And thank you for the great power of God in Jesus' name. Verse 36. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. Thank you, Lord, that you enlarged my steps under me and my feet do not slip. In Jesus' name, I speak to my feet. I command my feet in the name of Jesus. Do not sleep. My feet do not sleep in Jesus' name. My feet do not sleep in Jesus' name. My feet never do sleep. Never Never. In Jesus' name. Verse 37. Oh, wonderful verse here. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. This is, you know, you, you, can, you can see here the way David fought. I have pursued mine enemies. Not mine enemies have pursued me. I have pursued mine enemies. Now in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pursue mine enemies. 
in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pursue my enemies. I'm going to overtake them. And I will not turn back until they are consumed. Oh, Father, give me strength. Give me courage. Give me faith and authority to pursue all my enemies you know we do not fight flesh and blood and overtake them and not to turn back till they are consumed so now in the name of Jesus Christ you my pursuers you my enemies I pursue you now in Jesus' name. I overtake you now in Jesus' name. And I consume you in the name of Jesus. Be consumed by the power of God. Be consumed by the fire of God. Be consumed by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Be consumed by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. Oh, praise the Lord. This is wonderful. Let, let's, so we are in verse 38, but let's go for a moment. Let us go for a moment to Luke chapter 10. You, you know it. You know it, you know it, you know it. Verse... Mm, 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord even the demons are subject unto us through your name let's say lord jesus even the demons are subject unto me through your name yeah we, we have to confess it lord jesus even the demons are subject to me through your name thank you lord jesus son of god even the demons are subject unto me through your holy name once again because we have to believe it we have to proclaim it oh lord jesus i thank you even the demons are subject unto me through your name and he said unto them i beheld satan lightning fall uh, i beheld beheld satan as lightning fall from heaven i beheld i saw satan as lightning fall from heaven i saw satan fall like lightning from heaven now let's say i saw satan fall like lightning from heaven i saw satan fall as lightning from heaven in the name of jesus so satan has fallen as lightning from heaven this is procla pro proclamation satan is fallen as lightning from heaven and you can say this when you fight in spiritual warfare when you cast out demons you can say to the demon that is opposing you you say satan has fallen as lightning from heaven satan is fallen as lightning from heaven thank you jesus and verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power. But here the word is authority. I know in English the word power means authority also, but in Bulgarian it's not, not like this. I give you exousia. Behold, I give unto you exousia, which means authority. I give you authority to treat on serpents and scorpions i give you authority over all the
power dynamis over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you oh this is wonderful let's see thank you lord jesus you have given me authority to treat on serpents scorpions thank you for the authority over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt me say nothing shall by any means hurt me nothing shall by any means hurt me in jesus name nothing shall by any means hurt me notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven let's say lord jesus thank you that you have written my name in heaven lord jesus thank you that my name is written in heaven again lord jesus thank you that my name is written in heaven i give you glory i give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And let's go back to Psalm um, 18. We actually started in the book of Acts, but probably we we'll, we're going to pray next time there. Today there is no time for it. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. My enemies are consumed in Jesus' name. I pursue my enemies. I overtake my enemies. And I consume my enemies in the name of Jesus. Through the power of the blood of Jesus. Through the fire of the Holy Spirit. Oh, let's confess it again. Proclaim it by faith. I pursue my enemies. I overtake my enemies. And I consume my enemies by the fire of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the blood of Jesus, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. Now all my enemies be wounded in the name of Jesus. Not able to rise. My enemies will not be able to rise anymore in Jesus' name. My enemies will not be able to rise anymore my enemies be fallen under my feet in jesus name my enemies be fallen under the feet of jesus my enemies be fallen under the under the feet of jesus christ thank you jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. You remember Philipp Philippians 2.9, Wherefore God also had, has highly exalted him, Jesus, and given him the name which is above every name. O Lord Jesus, you are highly exalted, and your holy name is above every name. Every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Let in the name of Jesus any, every knee, 
every demonic knee bow in Jesus name in the name of Jesus every knee bow before Jesus Christ Lord Jesus your name is highly exalted and above every other name at the name of Jesus every knee bow before him every knee in heaven in earth and under the earth bow before Jesus Christ and every tongue confess everything confess that Jesus is the Lord Jesus is the Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and the Son of God and now we go back to verse 39 for thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Now thank you God that you have girded me with strength, power, might unto battle. You see warriors, you are warriors and you proclaim it. Thank you Lord Jesus that you have girded me with strength unto battle to fight. Thank you that you have subdued under me my enemies that rose against me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you subdued under me my enemies that rose against me. So all my enemies subdue under the feet of Jesus, subdue under me through the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me you see here we see who is our enemy they that hate us they are our enemies according to the word thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies and then he said that I might destroy them that hate me so my enemies are they that hate me so in Jesus name all our enemies all them of them that hate us our fight is not against flesh and blood so all our enemies in Jesus name your necks your necks on the floor or your necks on the floor your necks on the floor under my feet under the feet of Jesus and in the name of Jesus under my feet all you enemies all you that hate me under my feet in Jesus name and in the name of Jesus I destroy them that hate me in the name of Jesus I destroy my enemies in Jesus name thank you father oh Lord God Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your might. You are our deliverer. You are our Lord. Oh my goodness. It's almost an hour of prayer. I didn't know that. Praise the Lord. Let us give the glory to God. Let us worship the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you for your victory. Now, at the end, before we finish, you can place your hand. Put your hand upon your sickness. Put your hand upon your sickness. If it is on the head, on the eyes, on the ears, uh, on the heart, on the stomach, or... Uh, or the knee, or wh wherever your sickness and pain is. And uh, you speak against this sickness as it is your enemy, because it is your enemy. 
So you command and say, you spirit of sickness, you spirit of disease, I command you in the name of Jesus, leave me alone. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of sickness and disease, I command you in the name of Jesus, go away, go away, go away, go away and never come back. I speak to every darkness in me because sickness is darkness, depression is darkness. You darkness, you are not welcome here. I command you, come out of me. Any darkness, come out of me. Come out of me. Come out of me in Jesus' name. You say also, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want the light of God. Let there be light. Let there be light in my brain. Let there be light in my eyes. Let there be light in my mind and thoughts. Let there be light in my emotions and feelings. Let there be the light of God in my will. Let there be light in my spirit. Let there be light in my body in Jesus' name. Let there be light in my blood. Let there be light in my heart. Let there be light in me in Jesus' name. Let there be light in my bones and joints. Let there be light in my brain. Let there be light in my organs. And I speak to my organs. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Command your body. In Jesus' name, I, can, I command my body be healed. I command my organs be healed and restored in Jesus' mighty name. You spirit of infirmity, leave me alone. Come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' mighty name. You spirit of destruction, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of death, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I believe and receive the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my light, who is my life, and the resurrection. Lord Jesus, you are the light, the life, and the resurrection. Let there be light. Let there be resurrection power in me. And let there be life in me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be life. O oh, Holy Spirit, fill my body with your presence. O oh, Holy Spirit, fill me with your power. O oh, Holy Spirit, fill me with your fire in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, cover me with the precious blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood. There is salvation in the blood. Redemption in the blood. Healing in the blood. Deliverance in the blood. Life eternal and abundant in the blood. And I receive it through the blood of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus, we give you glory and praise, Lord for your healing power, for your mercy, in Jesus' name. Now we command any spirit of fear, you spirit of fear, come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of fear, come out. You spirit of terror, come out. You spirit of torment, come out. You spirit of bondage, come out in Jesus' name. Nightmares, Come out in the name of Jesus. Panic attacks, come out in Jesus' name. You evil spirits, go away and never come back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command you. Leave the people of God alone. 
Leave the people of God alone. We don't want you. We renounce you, evil spirits. We renounce and break the power of any curse. We renounce and break the power of any evil covenant over us. We renounce and break the power of any witchcraft upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you witchcraft power, come out, come out, come out and go in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you are doing. I receive my blessing through the blood of Jesus. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I receive the promises of God through the Holy Spirit of God. I receive anything from God, any good and perfect gift that comes from the Father, I receive it. Because it is yes and amen for all the promises of God. All the promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus Christ's name. And we give you glory, we give you praise. We give you honor, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now, the fire of God upon you. Let there be fire upon you. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. I agree with God. Be healed. Be delivered. Be healed. Be delivered. Be saved. Let there be light, let there be life, let there be the mercy and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ upon you, now and forever in the name of Jesus. Give glory to the Lord by faith. Give glory to the Lord by faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And now this prayer, brothers and sisters, it's not for one time. You can go back to, to it tomorrow. You can pray again or today because in America it's still day. Here it is after midnight. So you can pray with this prayer until you receive the deliverance. If, if you feel something happening to you, continue. Don't stop. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. You have to Keep on resisting, keep on fighting, keep on asking, keep on receiving in the name of Jesus. Don't stop, don't ask questions, only believe and you shall be saved. But only believe means, not only I just believe now, you continue to believe, you continue to fight, you continue to receive from God and you continue to receive your deliverance and healing and blessing ever more, every day, every day more in the name of Jesus. And we love you and bless you and we are going to pray with you again according to the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Give this prayer to your friends. Let them pray with me together and let us hear the testimonies of what the Lord is doing because the Lord, the hand of the Lord is moving and he said that from the time, from the time of John the Baptist, the, uh, John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent, violent take it by force. So you, you have to be violent you have to take the victory by force. You have to take the blessings by force. And we have to drive out the demons and the powers of dark darkness by force. In the name of Jesus. As Jesus said in Matthew 12, uh, 28. If I, by the Spirit of God, cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. So we have to drive out the demons by the Spirit of God and the Kingdom of God then is going to come upon us because it is difficult 
to receive the kingdom when the spirits are opposing you. So you have to oppose them, cast them out in order for the kingdom and the presence of God to come upon you. And where the spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit destroys the yoke of bondage. Let's give glory to God in Jesus' name and see you tomorrow maybe or we are going to see how the Lord is going to lead us. In Jesus' name, be blessed. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, love you. Write us to see what's happening. If you have questions, if you have prayer needs, write us. When I can, I'm going to, to respond to you. When I can, I'm going to pray for you. God bless you. Love you, friends.